Hi guys, what's going on? It's Boris at your College of Design Studio. And today we're going to take a look at Microsoft Word and how to do tables of contents and references. Um, I've, I know a lot of people that uh, struggle with this, especially when they're work, working on long papers and they think, man, how am I, how am I going to put together such a long list of references? Uh, it's just, it's, it's so annoying and it's, it's such a frustrating part of the project. When I, what I really want to do is focus on the research uh, and the content of my message, on the content of my paper. Well, I've got great news for you. Microsoft Word allows you to automate this and makes it um, as painless as possible, and we're gonna go through right now. What I have here is a paper I wrote uh, on broadband and internet policy, uh, and it's on a website if you'd like to take a look at it. Uh, and basically, at the very beginning, I have a table of contents, and if you're looking at it, and if you click on it, you know, it's, it's not very, it's not very useful, you, know, you just click on it and nothing happens. Well, the thing of it is, is you have to press and hold control and then click to a specific section. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to press and hold control and I'm going to click on references to show you um, an example really quickly. Right there, and you see that, you see that? it jumped straight to the references. Uh, let me enlarge it a little bit. Okay, right there. So I have um, references here. And if we scroll down, uh, we see that it's a long list of references, uh, two and a half pages, almost three pages. That's not something you really want to write out by hand, um, all the characters, all the periods, semicolons, forward slashes, and unique characters. Um, it's not something you really want to mess around with as it can be painstaking to do it manually. Um, that's why I use um, the references tab if you go towards the top and you go to references um, that's the tab that we're going to be working with and I'm going to use a blank word document and show you how to do it from scratch uh, step by step um, and you can follow along you can either use this document or the project you're working on and let's take a look okay so what we're going to do is I have a paragraph here that I've typed out well, it's just a sentence really and this paragraph is based on somebody else's idea and needs to be cited. We're going to do that right now. Um, on the ribbon, click on References. Click on Insert Citation. Add New Source. And you see many options here. Um, on a type of source, you can select a book section, book, article in a periodical conference report, website, um, miscellaneous interview. A lot of different things. What I personally do is I select website and then use that uh, for hard copy books, for websites. It doesn't really matter uh, as long as you use the fields correctly. So, for example, name of web page, that will be the name of the book um, or the chapter, uh, if you will, and name of website, that will be the name of the book. Uh, and then after that, um, you can put a period, the publisher, um, the volume, the number of pages. Uh, the year it was published, uh, and so on. So you can use this just as you would use a uh, book, which has um, limited options, or you can use that, you know, wh which, whichever works for you. For me, the, the website option works well because um, I can, without having to switch around much, I can switch around and use it for a variety of different sources. And if it's an online source, or if I find a source online as well, I can throw the URL on there as well. So, Let's do a citation really quickly. Uh, author. The easiest way is to click edit and then basically type in the last name of the author. So I'm going to put in Smith. Smith. John. Uh, middle will be A. And I click enter or press add. Uh, and I click OK. And as you can see here, it adds the author Smith. John A. Name of the web page. Um, say, for example, it's a book. Um, how to cite material in Word and the name of the website is technology published in 2012 in November year accessed let's say that it's an online resource year accessed um, 2012 November and today is the 19th URL uh, arcologydesigns.com that's our website and click OK 
and bam, Smith 2012 um, with a zero. Looks like we made an error. And that's very easy to fix. Instead of going in and pressing delete, don't do that. Um, click on manage sources. Uh, as you can see, I have a lot of sources that I've used previously, so I have to find Smith John A. Uh, Smith John A. How to cite material in Word. Click on edit. And it looks like I put 20,120. That's uh, quite a ways in the future. Delete that zero. Press OK. It's going to ask you um, if you want to update these changes. Click yes. Close. And we have Smith 2012 cited. Now you're probably wondering, okay, that's great. Um, I could have done that with just typing in the parentheses. Why did I have to go through all this just for um, in-text citation? Well, if you press enter, go to bibliography and click on either bibliography or works cited. I prefer works cited. Bam, it fills it in for you. Um, then you can play around with it. You can click on home and center it. Um, go to the end, press enter and basically do a lot of different things with it. And as you add in-text citations, you, add in, you can add in materials by pressing F9. Okay, and now we're going to take a look at how to do a table of contents. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in introduction. And then second topic. And third topic. Okay, so I'm going to highlight every letter in the word introduction and up in the home ribbon right here I'm going to click on heading one. I'm going to do the same thing with uh, second topic but I'm going to click heading two and I'm going to do the same thing with third topic but I'm going to um, click on heading three and what I'm going to do is I'm going to press space until I get each of them on a separate page. So second topic, third topic. Okay, just like that. I'm going to go to the insert tab, page number, bottom of page, and accent bar two. What that's gonna do is gonna put a page number at the bottom of the page with a number, um, a bar, and page. Right above the introduction, I'm going to press enter and right above the introduction, I'm going to go to references, table of contents, and I'm going to select automatic table to table of contents. Okay, you see this right here? Table of contents, introduction is on the first page, second topic is on the second, third topic on the third, and so on. When you add more topics, um, let me show you really quick. So say, for example, under second topic, we want to have um, subtopic 2, subtopic 3, and I'm going to select both of them, and in the home ribbon, I'm going to select heading 4. Um, after the third topic, I'm going to space this out to a new page. And I'll type in fourth topic. And I'll highlight this. And again, click heading three. I'm going to go back up to the very first page. I'm going to click in the table of contents where uh, so when it becomes gray like this. Okay, and I'm going to press F9. Um, or under normal circumstances, I should say, I would press F9. Um, this time I have it set as the stop button for my recording session. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on update table and it's going to give you two options to update the page numbers only or update the entire table. We don't have all the topics um, in there yet since we entered in a fourth topic. So I'm going to click on update entire table and as you can see the fourth topic shows up. The minor um, heading four subheadings don't show up on here. Um, only the major, the major subheadings that you delineate. Uh, and if you want to jump to a topic rather than scroll all the way down, uh, as I showed you in the beginning of this video, you can control click and click on topic 4. It jumps right down to it. Well, I believe that's it for this video. Uh, like I said, simple and easy and um, uh, very time-saving 
Um, I find it very useful and I'm very glad that the Word has this option. If you guys have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to contact us. Uh, we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on our Ecology Designs production.